Hello everybody. So today I'm going to do some paint pouring on rocks and I was asked to do this by Wanda and so I'm actually going to do three different groupings of rocks real quick. Well, I say real quick. Who knows how long it's going to take. Um, first, I'm going to show you how I mix up my paints. It's a very simple. Um, Wanda, I do not have uh, one of her good post or good business cards, but the Foiling Rock Lady, she's on Facebook, Etsy. You just do a search for her, you'll find her. Her name is Wanda, the Foiling Rock Lady. Um, <clears throat> she is amazing. Um, anyway, people were asking about how, to, how I pour my rocks, and she asked me if I would do a a video so I did I'm doing I'm gonna recommend a couple of different things you guys can pick and choose what you like Arteza is my favorite um, favorite acrylic paint I am adding Floetrol it is a very exact science as you can tell um, I pretty much do one part paint, two parts Floetrol, mix it up, see how it looks. This is Pearl Deep Brown, which is an amazing color. Um, and this is probably not something you should do right before you use it. Um, I like to mix it up, let it sit overnight. Uh, that way all of the air bubbles work their way out so you have fewer issues. Um, you absolutely can use them immediately. I am going to add a little bit of water here just because it seems very thick to me. I have all of my other paints mixed up already so you're only going to see me mixing up the one paint. <clears throat> I'm going on vacation. I don't really want to make up a lot of paints, so I'm kind of using up what I have. Um, I'm going to do black and gold, black and orange on this for some Halloween rocks. And my next set of rocks, I'm going to do rainbow. Um, and then the third set, I'm going to do uh, blues. And I've I've added silicone into that one so we're gonna kind of play with that third set a little bit and my paint is now mixed up it flows off the stick nicely so that's how you mix up paint Floetrol is just like this and I buy it by the gallon and when I do, I take a piece of pantyhose, I cut it over the top, put a band, I put a rubber band around it, and that way it sifts out all of the globs that are in it. It's a, it's a flow trial as a paint conditioner. Um, and a lot of people use it for painting houses and stuff like that. If you want to use glue, Elmer's glue all and water, you're more than welcome to do that. It's kind of the same thing. So this one I'm gonna do um, black and orange for Halloween because why not? And I'm gonna find a cup here real quick. I'll use this one. Any cup will do. And I'm going to start and I'm just going to pour in some paint. So all of these paints, 
have been mixed up already. Um, I've already done a set of Halloween rocks, so I'm using up the last of my black and orange. And I'm just going to layer them. Black, orange, black, orange, black, orange. When you're mixing colors, please keep, please be aware of what colors do when they mix. Because sometimes, if you mix colors in, I think purple is a Halloween color. Oh, this is stuck. Um, I got the toothpick, stick it in the middle. Uh, if you mix up colors, black and yellow, do not make black and yellow. Black and yellow, when you put them together, will make green. So just be beware, be aware of your color combinations. If you put blue and yellow next to each other, it's going to make green. <clears throat> um, there are color wheels all over online that'll tell you good color combinations if you aren't so inclined. Um, I just kind of go by the seat of my pants. If I like it, then I'm doing it. And if it turns into mud, which sometimes it will, a lot, if you mix wrong colors, don't worry. It's paint. You can you can wash it off, you can scrape it off, you can let it dry and paint right over the top of it. Um, so, there's, there's no wrong way, you know. So, I don't know if I've got enough. Probably not. I say, I don't know if I've got enough here to do all of these rocks. Um, the more you put, the more layers you put, the more it's going to mix also. So be really careful. Um, some people put big, big layers. Some people put small layers. I was putting small layers. Now I'm putting bigger layers in here. Uh, Again, if you don't like it, paint over it. If the paint's still wet, you can wash it off. Uh, it's a rock. That <laughs> was not good. Um, if you have a canvas and you have wet paint, take it in your shower. If you don't like it, take it in your shower and wash it off. Um, the paint will come right off, let the let the canvas dry, and you're good to go. It'll look just like new. Uh, you might have to restretch it, get the back of it wet a little bit, dry it off, and it'll tighten right back up. All right, so I just have layers in my cup. And now I'm going to pour right over the top of all of these. I'm going to kind of use this these rocks over here as one big canvas. Um, so I'm going to go through all of them. And it depends on what you like. I mean, uh, if you like more blues, purples, greens, oranges, you can make whatever you like for your colors. This is what I mean by it's getting muddy. The black and the orange are mixing together. See how it, everything was super separate here. I really like the black and orange and purple being separate. So I'm going to kind of go around it. And I will show you how to make it work. You want to make sure you get all of your sides covered. You don't have to worry about the back. These two are touching, so I'm going to move this one. And you 
you can move your paints. Once you have all of your, once everything's covered, you can move all of your paints. And I'll show you how. I'm just going to get these all covered here real quick. These are rocks that I just paint and will hide. I'm actually going on vacation. So I will leave some at all of my vacation destinations. October is going to be a crazy month for me. Crazy in a good way. Crazy busy. So, I'm just kind of looking around right now to make sure I have all of my sides covered. I promise here in a second I'll get this cup out of the way and you'll be able to see all of what I'm doing. Alright, well that's good for now. So there's my cup. And it looks yuck. But, that's okay. I'm going to, actually I'm going to tip it upside down. And let it drip. Right here in the corner of my, corner of my tote. And I will let all of this, well let me move this real quick and I'll show you. So all of the paint that is on the rocks has now dripped off and has landed below in my tote. <clears throat> I'm not at all worried about that because all of that will make, will dry. I will let it dry and I will make jewelry out of it. Um, necklaces or whatever. I'm just trying to get this to stick up here and that way it can drip down. <laughs> That's good. Um, and so I'm just going to kind of look around. I don't really like this rock at all. Let me turn off my light and I'll show you what it really looks like. Yeah, you can't really see it. I know that there is a big glare here, so. I'm going to kind of cover up my light here real quick for a second. That one, to me, is just kind of plain and boring. I love this purple. I love this. This one is kind of plain and boring to me with just that orange stripe. This one's amazing. But I'm going to grab a straw. Nothing is in the right place anymore because I just did a touch of truck event. We had uh, our city had a whole bunch of trucks that they pulled together. Uh, fire trucks, ambulance, police cars, dump trucks, bulldozers. Um, and all the kids were allowed to come over and climb in them and play on them and stuff like that. So that was fun. But we did, um, we had... <clears throat> people come and paint rocks, so everything in my house is out of order. <laughs> um, so I don't really like this one, and I don't really like this one, but I'm going to make them more interesting. I'm just going to blow through a straw. And give it a little bit of movement. that better. Uh, see what I can do with this one over here. I wish I could turn this around, but where my camera is, I kind of really, kind of can't do it. I 
just have to pick up that rock. I think I'll move this orange and purple around a little bit on this one. If you paint and you don't end up with paint all over you by the end of the day, you're doing something wrong, right? That's what I tell myself every day anyway. If you're an artist, you're allowed to be messy. So I'm just tilting it, trying to get some movement going on. This side over here is pretty much all black. Sorry, I'm off the camera. <clears throat> I think that's a little more interesting. And when I'm all done, I'll take these and put words on them. Boo, trick or treat. Um, you want to get a little little risque. We want to be my boo. Will you be my boo? You could do all sorts of weird stuff. Put candy corns on there or pumpkins. I like this rock and I don't really want to lose it, but I do want to get more of that purple. Yeah, see? I don't like that. I'll just kind of push it back. <laughs> That's more, that's more interesting for me. All right. For some reason, black likes to stick onto the fingers. So for the rest of the video, you'll see me have black fingers. <clears throat> then I have black on my wrist and on my shirt. It's a good day. <laughs> I was going to do this live and be able to answer questions, but my computer has not been plugged in, so it's dead, so I could I wouldn't be able to see any video, any comments anyway. But if you have questions, please feel free to put them in the comments. I will answer them. Um, probably put this up on Facebook and YouTube and Wanda if you want to put this on your page that's fine too since you were the one that since your people were the ones that had questions and so now I'm just gonna let these dry um, I'm going to try and torch this one, see if I can't get any, any cells to pop up. Yeah, there we go. Maybe I'll do that. So when you heat up your paint like this, um, all of the paints that are mixed together are going to... There are air bubbles that are trapped in the bottom. And... By heating them up, the, it pops the air bubbles, brings them to the surface, and that's what gives you these little, these little bubbles, uh, cells is what they're called. You get a lot of cells when you do metallics. Um, if you put silicone in your paint, and some people do that, or co coconut oil, or whatever. You use, I use treadmill oil, treadmill silicone. Um, here in just a second, I'll grab that and show you. It is called 
spot on treadmill belt lubricant and two drops or do you um i don't know i think the last time i bought silicone it was six bucks or eight bucks or something for that <clears throat> but i have no idea with all of the price increases on everything how much it is now so sorry i'd love to be able to tell you but you can get it on amazon you can get it at any store um, some people use coconut oil um, just make sure it's a liquid not a solid <clears throat> You can get solid coconut oil. Okay. So, I'm going to move on to the second set of rocks over here. And I'm going to do a rainbow. So, let me see here. I don't have any more clear cups. And use a styrofoam disposable cup and I'm not really making an exact rainbow please don't say hey the colors you're using aren't really in the rainbow I'm just making pretty colors maybe I'll use white if I can get the lid off of it Like I said, I'm going on vacation, so I don't really want to make up a bunch of paints. And all of my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water as needed. Sometimes you need uh, water and sometimes you don't. This one is stuck. Pay for paper towel, right? So there's some pink. You can hear my litter box in the background. I'm sorry. I didn't turn it off before I went live, before I made a video. There's red. Orange. I reuse everything. <laughs> so, even though it looks like I'm just pouring this straight out, this has been, this orange has been mixed. Mixed, ready to use. I don't have a lot of orange left. <laughs> Hopefully red and yellow make more orange. Um, some green. There is a snot blob. And that's from the float crawl. Which is why I put the pantyhose over it. To avoid most of that. Let me just pull the lid off of here if I can. Some of these paints have been in these containers I don't know, two years and I'm by that I mean you know I have green always in this one and I just keep refilling it. Should have made sure I could have get the, could have gotten the lids off all of these, but that's a pretty green. And here is green and blue.
Sorry. That one's super pretty. It's metallic. Blue. There's a darker blue. And purple. And that will be plenty of paint to get us cut get these rocks covered. And again, I'm just going to take them. See my pretty rainbow? I'm going to take them and I'm just going to use all of them as one canvas. Because if I concentrate on one rock, it's going to get all of the purple. And the last rock is going to get all of the red. So I want to be able to all the different colors on every rock. Oh, that was, there we go. And you can go in straight lines. You can make swirlies. You can do whatever your little heart wants to do. Because the best part about it is it is your rock. Your canvas. And if you put it out and someone does not like it, they don't have to pick it up. They can leave it there for the next person who will love it. Nothing about this is perfect in any way. That's the great thing about art. Everybody has their own. Let's do. I think I'm getting too much pink. So I think I'm going to stop. I think I've, look, I've lost all my colors in there. That's what I have left, and I'm going to go ahead and flip that and let it drip out. Let this rock up here. <clears throat> Not all that excited about this all pink rock. So I'm gonna torch it, see if I can't get any of the other colors to pop up through. Yes. So if you're doing this, where mostly where your colors are solid, you're not gonna get any cells. But because everything's layered, the way I poured it, everything's layered, it's gonna get a bunch of cells. And they will continue to grow and just because it looks like this now this is going to continue to drip <clears throat> until it dries um, this rock is not covered so i am going to it's right here it's not covered so i'm going to put my finger here I'm going to pull it down. Paint travels better over paint. So if you can get your paint, your finger wet with paint, then it will, you'll be able to pull it down easier. Um, actually, I'm kind of liking the way this looks without the pink. I kind of tip this pink off. Look at that cell right there. That's awesome. <laughs> I didn't put too, too much paint on this rock, so there might not be a lot of tilting off. way better. 
<clears throat> trying to do this without ruining the top of the rock. So right here, this this color, I don't, I'm not really fond of this, but I have a lot of paint on my finger. So I'm going to get it wet and then I'm gonna use my clean finger and kind of make sure that I get into this blue orange area and then I can pull it down and then I end up with this, which I like a lot better. <clears throat> but now I'm going to put it down before I drop it or ruin all of my rocks. Um. Oh, these rocks over here were all got were all bought at Stone Gardens, which is my local landscaping local landscaping place. And go in and you buy rocks by the pound. Um, you can pick and choose. And this is their information. Stone Gardens, John and Angie are amazing. Jamie and Scott are also there. The whole crew is great. This rock is not covered. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I've got lots of paint down here at the bottom of the rock, so I'm just gonna pick it up up here and pick up this and pull it down and I'll do that over here as well and I can tell that right here is a blob of paint um, don't know if that's a flow trawl blob or if it's a blob of paint but I'm going to get it out because if I let it sit there and dry it will dry with a bump so <clears throat> grab the handy dandy toothpick <clears throat> so there's rainbow and then I'm gonna do this last one I'm gonna do over here is blues and I have blues made up I'm gonna just kind of scooch my paints here on the side real quick so that I can scooch this up one more time desk is a disaster over here, you guys. Some days I wonder how I do any work in here. Some days I just don't. I've got to get it cleaned up. Move some of these paints over this side here. Okay. So, these are Rocks that I bought from Shelly. Santorini Stones by Shelly. And she's on Facebook and Instagram and uh, everywhere. Etsy. Um, so these are um, blemish stones and baby shadows. And this is a Santorini and this is an amazing rock. If you can. Uh, these are a little more pricey, but highly, I, I, they're worth it. I don't want to paint over the top of this with a pour, but it's a nice, flat, smooth rock. Um, and you're, I think you'll be able to see more cells and stuff like that. So, I'm going to do... I have a pearl white. I don't know why I always
always put white at the bottom because it always comes out white at the, at the top. I mean, it's the last one that comes out of the cup, so. And this is pretty, pretty blue. It's iridescent. All of these have um, an iridescent medium in them that I put in there, and it is this iridescent medium. I got it at Walmart. I don't know. I think it was like four or five bucks for that big bottle. And I put it in my colors and I love the way that it just makes everything shimmer and shine. So I can really see it in this blue, I think. This one, because I'm only doing the four colors, I'm going to layer it. I promise you guys, I'm almost done. I love to watch people paint. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's very therapeutic. And you come up with some really cool ideas. I mean, who'd have thought that you would have mix this or that or this or that and come up with this. Um, so I've got a lot of really cool ideas from other artists. I would love to name them all. I cannot. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Too many to name. So, this one I'm going to do a little differently. I'm actually going to, I'll, I'll pour this onto a couple of rocks, but I'm going to pour it onto a flat surface and then pick it up and put it and layer it onto a rock. And I love this blue, so I'm going to go a lot of blue here. And now I am going to stir once and stir twice. And that's it. The more you mix, the less definition you have in your in your colors. So I think that is going to make an amazing background. And we'll do this one too. Can you see the shimmer and the sparkle and the shine in there? I just think it's gorgeous. Um, we go with some white. We'll do this one. And then we'll do... Mm, I'm losing all my colors right there. Alright. Now I'm going to take... I know you guys be impressed here. Ready? I'm going to take an ice cube tray and I'm going to pour over it. And I'm going to put this one upside down and let it drip. Look at the colors in there. Wow, look at that lacing. I hope you can see that. That is gorgeous. All the little white nacelles over here, the ribbons, I love it. So now I'm going to actually pick it up with my cake. And I'm going, my cake, 
decorator and I'm going to pour it right over the top. You can do this with a dustpan. You can do this with pretty much anything. You can spread it. You can touch it. And pour it right over the top. There's just really no way to go wrong. Um, I'm just going to cover the sides here. That's going to continue to drip. And this is really dumb. Never put paints over the top of something that you've already done, like my rainbow rocks that are right behind us, because inevitably the glue will fall onto the rainbow rock. Just covering it up. And now I will let this dry off drip. Where do I put this? Well, I'm going to get up here real quick. Just a second. <clears throat> I'm just going to make it so it doesn't drip off of here while I'm finishing up. Uh, oh, crap. You guys, and so in, in these blues, in the white, I put silicone. And that is going to make more cells. I am over here making a mess. Sorry, you guys. Stand this up. Stay. You guys talk to your painting tools like I do. Stay. <laughs> so that my ice cube tray doesn't drip all over while I'm working. Okay, you can just wipe it all off. I'll wash it when I'm done with the video and it will be good as new. I don't think I'm going to torch these two because I really like the lines in there. But I will torch these other guys. This one is touching. I do not want them to touch because they will have their paint stuck to each other. So when you're when you go to move your, your rocks, it will pull it off of one rock or the other. Let's see. I don't want this one leaning up against the tray over here, the drying rack. All my drying racks came from the dollar store. Dollar Tree, Dollar General, I don't know. So I hope you can see this. The paint is really moving around a lot. Um, and that's the air bubbles popping. Oh, look at that one. Look at that one. What that one just did. These are going to be super pretty. I'm not trying to dry my rock. You don't want to heat it up for too long because if you do, you the heat could make the rock crack. So quick, fast motions. Don't stay in one spot too long. Always be careful. It is fire. It will burn you. Watch the kids. 
you know, all of that stuff. This rock just seems to be kind of plain, so I'm going to take what's left over here in my, in my cup, and I'm going to let it drip, and as it's dripping, I'm going to pull it. give it some of that white in there. That's better, I think. There you can see the bubbles a little more in the white, I think. Let's see if I can zoom in. Like I said, this light is horrible for this, so. And if you don't like it, take your cup. Oh, wait, let me zoom back out. Sorry. Straighten up again. So this rock right here, which is cool. I'm going to take my paint and I'm going to pour it all down here. And then I'm going to pour that over the top of it. I think that gives it a little better, a little more oomph, a little more pizzazz. And that's better, isn't it? I think. Something a little more for the eye to look at. I'll take my paint stick and just, I don't want to touch the rock, which I did right there. Now slide down here, get some of this blue, this white, this. So you just play with your rocks and you get them to look like what you want, uh, you know. If you're not happy, make a happy rock. I don't know what that looks like. I'm going to add another one over here. Little something. I think it looks better. And when you put your words over it or your embellishments, if you put vinyl on top of it, it's not going to stand out nearly as much as you think because the focus is going to be on the vinyl or the lettering. Um, if you watch, look at Katie's lettering. Um, <clears throat> Katie Thompson has some amazing handwriting. Uh, she'll put something cool in there and you won't even look at the background. You won't even see the background because you'll be looking at the lettering. But that's rock painting, pore painting. 
um, pretty much the gist of it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. You can send me a, a message. Um, you can contact me, you know, however. Um, if you're seeing this in October, it may take me a minute to get back to you because I'm on vacation. So, but, so here are the blues and the rainbows. I can't move this back and forth. Let me, let me put my camera down. And maybe let me turn these around here. So there are the Halloween ones, the rainbow ones, maybe now you can see all the little cells better. This is the Santorini, look at the colors, oh gosh I love this, I love these colors. Let me focus, focus Jackie, focus. So I did not torch these, this one, and I did not torch this one. So they're the cells, the little, these guys aren't coming up in those like they do here. These are definitely more lines. Let me see if I can cover up. I can't really cover it up. Um, That's better. Definitely a line, whereas the one below it is definitely more speckly. There's that white that we added. There, that one. <laughs> Can't see. Oh my gosh. Focus. Sorry, guys. As you can tell, I'm not the not the video girl. But anyway, there it is, rock painting, base painting. Um, you can do that on canvas or wood or glass. Um, this over here is a tile that I did. Pour painted that tile and then put resin over the top of it. So it's a trivet, it's hard as rock. It's nothing's gonna happen to it. There's my baby, my bush baby, my little bush baby. <laughs> And my dragon, because I'm a dragon girl. I have to put that together. Anyway, okay, this, this has been an hour. Um, so, the foiling rock lady. She does foils, nail foils, water. She makes amazing watercolors. Um, Stone Gardens, if you're in Arkansas, you can get... But you can also, you know, get rocks at your very own landscaping place and Santorini's by Shelley those are the, the moon shadows the baby shadows the blemishes the Santorini stones oh let me zoom in under here so this is all the paint that has dripped off of the rocks and you can look in there and see all of the different colors. And, you know, I, I can take those and turn those into pieces of jewelry. Oh, that one would be beautiful as a necklace. It, looks, it even looks like it's got a little heart in there. All the different swirly colors. So, none of that will go to waste. It looks like it will, it's all going to go to waste, but it, none of it will. I can't wait to see what happens. Anyway, have fun base painting your rocks. Don't be afraid. Have fun with it. If you don't like it, paint over it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.